guys, welcome to my channel. This is Talal, he's combing his hair. Um, he's my cousin and he's a PhD in computer science, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, this is Vokas, he's my cousin and he's a medical doctor. Right, so we're both yeah. doctors. He's a computer doctor, I'm a people's doctor. Yeah. And we both, you know, kind of fix, I fix people, he fixes computers. I, yeah, that's, that, you can say that. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah. tell us a little bit more about you. Um, so, I am somebody who actually wanted to be a medical doctor when back in like the school days. Uh -huh. I wanted to study sciences and biology and, you know, understand the human body and how it works, treat people. Um, but yeah, it's, the, my journey was that even though I wanted to do it, I didn't get admissions into the schools that I applied. Uh, I applied at that time to U.S. universities and some universities in Pakistan. Right. Didn't get into any of the science programs that right. I wanted to get into. Um, I only got into the computer science program, which was the backup, right? And then just to not waste a year, I started studying it. Um, and I remember the first semester, my GPA was the worst ever in my degree, like across eight semesters. And but in the second semester, what ended up happening was that I got these two good teachers who taught computer programming and digital logic design. Right. Uh, and that sort of um, really, really um, pushed me to start learning programming and I ended up loving it. So that after that, there was no looking back, you know. Then now I'm working at a big tech company as a software engineer. Yeah. So that's been my journey. And I think one computer, of the biggest computer. tech companies in the world, right? Yeah. <laughs> or the biggest. But he's going to be revealing that on his channel, which is Daisy Brooklyn Life. So like and subscribe to his channel. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, what, what was your journey into the medicine doctorate field? For me, I actually wanted to be a computer scientist when I was an undergrad. I learned Python from YouTube, you know, I dabbled a little bit and I tried to make an app. You know, I went to a daily one day and there was a long line for halal meat and I was tired of waiting. I'm like, there should be an app for this. Life should be easier than this in 20, was it 15 maybe? 2012 or something. Um, and I was like, life should be way easier. I should not have to wait in line for anyone. So I went home and started making this app and I was working day and night. You know, I was working in Allscripts, which is an IT company for health solutions at that time also. So I kind of, I was learning databases and I learned Python online. I started making this app and I got midway through and then, you know, I went to med school in the Caribbean, the SGU. So that kind of went into the backdrop. But I al always had this urge to learn computer science and make something of it. Like artificial intelligence just like blows my mind, right? Creating neural synapses as like data, like it's amazing. So I'm very intrigued with it and I want to like keep learning more about it. And maybe you can talk about more about how someone like me who's not like I know um, a lo little bit about computer science from what I've researched online and on YouTube and like read whatever I've read, um, but what would be a more proper way <clears throat> to learn the language and to kind of, to target making, app making? Yeah, um, yeah, this is a good question. Uh, I, I, I would say like, you know, there's, there's two things that you need to separate out, right? There's computers and the science of computers and how they work. And then there's programming, which is sort of you telling the computer what to do. Mm -hmm. um, so understanding the science is important, but it is also very complicated and keeps changing with new hardware coming out, uh, new, new, new operating systems being developed. And that whole paradigm keeps changing. And so does the giving instructions to the computer science, uh, computers to do something, right, which is programming. So uh, when you're starting out, you'll typically start with programming and um, over there, you can learn a language where you foresee your application uh, being used, right? Like for example, if you want to build an application for an Android phone, then you got to write it in a different language. If you want to build an application for an iPhone, 
you gotta write it in a different programming language so you gotta understand that these are different languages and you can start out by learning like a simpler language which will give you like the sim abstractions that are used in other language also right. which is which would be python or something like that um so again like this is whatever you want to achieve there you know you got a plan based right. on that you can start out with python and then go to a more specialized right. language right. and then through that when you run that uh, programming language on a computer you can build li like your understanding slowly of mm -hmm. the science behind it all too so this is something that anybody can do i, I believe that truly really, right. uh, that you can do programming you can understand computer science you don't need a fancy degree right. to do it right. uh, but, yeah, but i feel like that's something. the case with anything like if you study medicine enough like you read enough books you go out and see enough people just set a uh, booth on you know on the street and be like hey if you're sick, I'll see you for a dollar or for free. You know, you eventually you will have enough experience to be a doctor without uh, a degree. And I, I agree because that's what it was like back in the day. Like philosophers yeah. used to do everything, right? Maths and sciences, biology, chemistry. It was all encompassed in philosophy. And then as philosophy progressed, it kind of like split into different branches, just like now. You know, computer science was probably one branch and then it split into maybe, I don't know, Java or, you know, C++ or Python now and like hardware versus software before it was probably like one, right? Yeah. So the root, the basic trunk of the tree is philosophy. I don't know why we got here, but we're here now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at philosophy now. Um, but like going back to, um, uh, going back to, you know, um, me studying computer science uh -huh. but wanting to do biology first you can al always do that full circle also then, right, right? right like you can go back from the field that you got into accidentally and go back to the things that you liked right, right. after getting that life experience because yeah. I, I I know we talked about this before um, although we didn't want this wasn't the first choice maybe but yeah. we are happy where we are right yeah. now like yeah. you being a medical doctor doing your residency right. you're happy doing that yeah. and I'm very happy doing being a computer scientist being a right. software engineer um, so but but like I have that choice to go back and do something with biologists now and like relive that uh, passion of understanding science more right right and you're free to do whatever you want now like with technology yeah. and build like maybe something for a hospital now that you right. understand how the system works right right yeah i completely agree and I, I feel like you know that's very important to take all your passions and mold it into like one thing so for me i have background in pharmaceuticals it and passion with programming passion with being an entrepreneur and now being my primary career which is uh, medicine and mixing all those two together and plus now with YouTube and being a creator uh, content creator you know mixing all of those to create you know one thing which is going to be maybe me in like five years you know? and and a lot of these uh, cutting cutthroat kind of um, uh -huh. apps and cutthroat kind of applications and like things that like are beyond the, the horizon right like right. The things we don't see are at actually the intersection of different subjects they are right. not just in one subject they right. could be they could be just in biology or just in computer science but like real impact comes from the synergy of these fields together right? oh, of course like uh, uh, you you have an idea from computer science plus biology plus right. maybe chemistry and then in the end you have a vaccine right right, um, right. like that's the culmination of it like yeah and then you build a business on top of it right yeah so like that's how like success happens right, right. with synergy of different subjects you can't can't just succeed with one skill these right. days but yeah thank you for watching yeah. i guess and uh tell us how you like this video do you like this format i can do more of this in my channel also right like yeah check out my channel desi brooklyn life i make videos about studying abroad my videos are usually in urdu uh, I try to make it accessible for people in Pakistan. Yeah. Um, so yeah, check it out. Thank yeah. you. And like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you liked, you know, as he said, this format. If you'd like to hear more from him and if you have questions about computer science and, you know, be feel free to ask 
on his channel or my channel. We'll both answer them. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one.